Hello, welcome to Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to create three bedroom flat floor plan. Click on a new template and use architectural template, or you can use architectural templates if you do have, but I already have the one I used to use. So I use Martinez Design, my own personal template that I used to use to create design. So allow it to upload now. As you see, there, you start your floor plan design here. So, as you are familiar with all the interface here, the first thing you need to start with is to click, click on wall. Then you set the wall, look at the height of the wall you are designing, which is so you start proper design from level one. You know, when you look at my demo foundation uh, project browser, you see that I've created some certain things like foundation, level two, and things like that. So, my limited as on level two, so I'm going to start from level one here. So, Click on wall, then you look at the wall thickness, whether it's appropriate to what if you're not, then you edit it again. So click on the edit structure. So I have uh, an issue with the kind of the wall I want to use here. So this is not the type of wall I want to use, then you close it, close it again. So you pick another wall from this wall references. So you choose wall 2 mm mm. So 200 mm, then you look at this edit, edit the structure here again. Whether it's full, I don't, I have 90 score, which is 2 to 5. So edit that by saying OK. Say OK. So now, as I have that, I have or 2 to 5 thickness size. So I start my project by start putting the first line so click and look at the size of what you are doing because you don't want it to be exceeding the normal so, so click here like six meter so if you have a drawing already on the ground it's more easy for you to do so you just follow the step one after the other so you click on that another one you click you put it there like this so you can imagine that there is shadow on this one. So for you to make your graphic not to be slow, slow down, click on toggle of the shadow to start your design. Continue with it. So this will not take much time. Just take care. Just make sure you watch this for the finish. Take proper look at what we are doing. This is an architectural procedure and this is the main thing we call architecture, doing a plan. So we continue like that by putting the space on in the in appropriate place, uh, points. So like this, you do it. The reason why it's easy for me is that I have some drawing that is guiding me here. That I'm following step one after the other. So you do this again. The day, so you do like so. After you have created those spaces, it will definitely tell you we are going to bring those space to attention of those space to what we are doing here. So, cancel and repeat all those by putting this one here. Click, say similar on your keyboard. There are so many commands you can use when you are doing this try You just need to follow some of those things. So like, yeah. So you have done with this. The next thing is to create this another space here. So follow through. This is still by doing bungalow design. So following every step after the other. So when adjustments need to be made, you will make it as so of now. Keep doing and keep what keep tracking. Okay. So now we have something close to three bedroom that we are designing. 
So it's the only thing that remains is that the size of the building. Whether it's yielded fruit to what we are doing here or not. So if it's too long, we reduce the size. That will not just have a bulgur space that are mostly not functioning for anything. Okay. So like this place, align this with this. Okay. We have two place to case here, case similar. Bring something close to this space. Alright. This part to adjust it a bit or align it with this. No, don't align it. And you have this one space. Just the space of a corridor, I mean passage or lobby. Now, after you're done with this, so now to program all the space one after the other. So the first place where we need here is the anteroom space, which is this space, this front side. You adjust it and let it suitable to the normal size of what you are doing. So if you click here, you see it has given you the normal size. So we are using metric. Metric means meter, millimeter, millimeter or meter or centimeter. But mostly millimeter is what we use in this space so that we get the detailed accuracy. So now we have this space done now. So the next thing to the next space we create will be our living room. So having this one is a small space to work or program in it. So you can adjust all here. I like them. Then use your arrow key to shift. Let the room a little bit bigger. At the same time, you increase this this space as well. Then you increase the size of this space because it's much smaller. You can contain a toilet to increase this one to you know, something like follow the dimension you are seeing. Something like four meters. So here, you have to create a veranda or I mean and transport so you click here say okay click okay so here you can just use the split elements to define the wall and the stream stream like that so you cannot do this one by say okay let us just adjust it to fitting so here You've done what you need to do by creating the space for. Uh, so the next thing is to create dining space. The dining space you need to split here. Click split. Then adjust it a bit. I, I want it to have arc. So the graphic detail part of it is going to work on it later. So I just want to create the space out. Let's see how far. So from here now I need to create back on it. I, I, the rest at the back of this space. Click here, click another wall. From here, you click on split, the split this particular wall, adjust it. Okay, I did this now. This is an entrance to kitchen. I need small store with a dwarf wall within the internal because there's no ventilation. I'm going to create the, the store here. So, what I need to do. Is to create this one, adjust it, or just say reduce the height. Only this particular build as you selected, you just come here and reduce the height to something like 2000. 2000 let's see, 2100. So you reduce the height, but it's not showing here. The reason why it's not showing is that simple, but one thing you can see do is to change the the thickness of the room because it's just a normal demarcation. So use well, like this one, generic work 2, which is 10mm. Just use that. 
so if you already reduce the size then you can reduce the size the more by saying okay we are doing something like 16 hmm. so you look more presentable in this manner so you have your kitchen at the same time you have your 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 stuff so that's this is for that so adjust this particular one and shift it in this one is an entrance to so all this one and you split because there's nothing this outside is functioning for split it split it so now you have your design of two bedroom this is the plan for now so first you need to do we have not done with our plan you create a four floor plan i mean floor that is floor slab so you click on home go to floor plan and click architectural floor plan select your peak line instead of you doing line one by one so i used to use peak line it's more quicker and more faster so click on peak line select all the four side or any side that you know that you are bringing this so it will select you for you quick and more accurate than when you are drawing it one after the other with ordinary line so you do that and pick it around then start trimming everything one after the other so so you've done that now I don't want it to extend to this outside part so click here and do the line from here press escape and do the line again then trim it so as you are done with the trimming the next thing to do is to click finish so when you click to your keyboard and say finish it now you see the kind of wall you pick for is one two two one hundred and fifty. So check it, check the type of the property whether it's right or not. So it might be different story. So click on that and click on thickness. You see the thickness is two on the that is eight inches. So click is okay for ground floor plan. So that is how you draw your floor plan here now. So you are done with this with the plan arrangement and everything. So the next thing to do is to start putting your openings where they're supposed to be. So click on the and then start putting where the supposed to be. This is normal door of so it's internal mostly internal door. So you like this place need door, put the door here. Anywhere that they're not doing, just align them to the wall. Then if they are not reinventate, then use this flip arrow to change them. Follow this instruction to the end, it's going to benefit you a lot because this is just a basic design of in architecture. So click again, click similar. You can bring this one to the entrance. At the same time, you need another entrance here. You get what I'm saying now. Huh? You need another entrance here. now that's why this one needs to be changed if you are going to have a transfer then this one needs to go up and mix it here so then you click on this to change the host so then say click pick new host so here you put it so it's going to be stable at that point so the both of them share almost common entrance with one another so now that is what to do here now something is there this place is going to be more dark so there will not be any lighting effect there so change this so your dining is going to be an open dining to your to your lobby so that is another form of design so the next thing is that you click on the similar say click then you create door here to your kitchen click on flip and let it flip to that place so in this place too you click similar and you click door to your to your stop so adjust this one a bit to come out to come out so that is it you have entered you have so you click it again similar thing and put door and this your dining 
to move outside or you may decide not to do that by using kitchen to move so pick new post put put it in the kitchen side adjust this one by clicking let it be stable to that part so you do the size of the kitchen if need be push your key arrow when you are clicking on this so that's the beauty of uh, Revit so you do that the next thing is that you need to put the the toilet door so click on door again look for toilet door if it's been created if you, you don't have any click on the small size of it and edit here edit the type click on that is 750 by 2100 ml I'm talking of height of the, of the door project and the width here that's for the kitchen I've edited that anywhere you know that there is toilet put them as a toilet door so you're arranging that for toilet good I have the toilet door in place so the next thing to do is to click on a door on door again and looking for external door like this double door external so click on this and see whether the yes you have the rough rough height everything is accurate pick it here and put it at the entrance you do the same thing here because it's entrance and it's entrance towards this place so they have these two kind of door entrance in place so that is it for for the placement of doors in this so the next thing to do is to put window in, in it click on window there are window fix then you check the kind of window you want so i want to choose any one of this particular window so i like this particular one so i choose this i look at the so the width and the height they are accurate i say okay the next is to look at the height here did i like this particular one i change the height to something like 2100 because the time i'm working on the elevation so this is the pattern of the window and i prefer it like that let me place it here all around so i'm not going to use it in kitchen i just want to use it in bedroom and living room okay so you put it here if we flow so it's not having an instant place to stay adjust this to a side so that this one we have place to sit on the plant so adjust itself to close to the good so you are done with the big window the normal room size window so the next thing to do is to click on and um, click another window which is a toilet window so choose this one say so edit type so you look at it they are accurate to what you want to do so put it here by changing the head height 21 2100 so click like that continue to select everywhere you see window put it there the toilet window anywhere you see toilet so arrange it there so we have four toilets and everything is having a window ready so the next thing is that you the next thing you are going to do here you have already put this window where it's supposed to be so what you need to do next is okay we have never gotten window for the kitchen click on window this on this one and choose another window that you know that okay is suitable i'm going to use uh, 700 by 120 yeah so trace it down and see that okay 2100 to so put this one here that's nice now let's not say you do not like the graphics of the way these windows are and you want to change it to something that okay is equal or is able to what you want to do so select this select all instance in this visibility you see that you have picked all the windows so go to this place and change it to a suitable window site that you know that is okay for you 
like this particular one let's say i choose this you see that everything has changed so check it right here the c light type 2100 say apply then you can change the uh, the width and everything here so this is the height but the width is a little bit small change it to 120 that is four feet size and the height to 2100 say okay so look at it from here again the c letter has changed type 2100 and you are good to go so you have changed that that earlier plan view pattern of the window instead of that one that's opening outside you don't have them again you have something that is normal for floor plan now what you need to do now is to start putting your templates in each room so click here click on template so i have them cosmo this cosmo server something work with a uh, uh, fury uh, we are not we are going to do that in the in the advanced tutorial so stay put when we're going to render this particular one so but now just let's use the one that is more graphic friend friendly so first i need to use queen size bed to put in all the beds around to so select that push your bed in space put the bed in space if you don't want the orientation like this office so you can decide to press your backspace key so that this the orientation of the bed we change so that for that press again okay and press escape because you have already placed things in the room press another one continue check for silver here i like this particular silver and i want to use it put it here press escape so now the next thing is to look for another silver for you to use and just look around place it up by placing the arrow key so you want to see the one that okay it's okay for you it's okay by you so sometimes you can use all this uh, this particular one if you want to do the interior or you see something that's okay let's just do this so far for for the anti room click here it's there can you see that the graphics are coming out one after the other so you click on component again select if you look see kitchen cabinet pick it up so that's how you look around whether you have what you get and what you need to put in space so use wc in this kitchen space put them where they're supposed to be press backspace to rotate the so i do the same thing here as well good so look for another more kitchen component and put them where it's supposed to be like so i try to d put it where you're supposed to have them okay let's put them around where you know that supposed to be so we have them around you cannot have it in physical toilet to so click again select where this one supposed to be while looking for any other component that you know that okay is suitable so was one basin you need it as well so put your was one basin where you need that okay it can be functional put them around so you press backspace now you have your graphics in place now kitchen you don't have anything but you can do that artificially so what you need to do go to annotation click detail i don't i i'm not maybe if i properly cut this section just do kitchen cabinet so you look at the size because everything in architecture is all about size of what you are doing okay it's a little bit so click here and say 450 the size of cabinet now from there you say modify click on type this particular one 3 is much the offsets 
to offset it to something like like 50 so you have it like that now you do your wash and basin as well use this particular tango that round so create some space that look more functional than accuracy like this put it here so here too you can use number for uh, rectangle draw this one out so make sure that you centralize them by making them to have some meaning so as you've done this click and say center so you pick this one good so you see your cabinet kitchen cabinets have some meaningful expression on its own so that is how you draw your floor plan and things like that so the arrangement and everything has been done already so now maybe if you do not like the way the graphics parts of this is just totally dark what you need to do is to go to your view in the view click visibility graphics on your design so from here you say object type do not click on any edit of this particular one except you just want to change the floor plan alone well, let us use that one for now so in advance we are going to change another part which is what where you can just change the object style completely but here we want to change the style of the so here you use the use object style in this space change the style of the object here so that's the way it was in the default so change it so click from the graphics appearance this is cut side cut side click to none you don't want any pattern so okay 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 and okay what happened to you Fiji again I'll just tie Edit okay background with none say so, okay okay go foreground and background must this foreground background must always at none so so that the thing will change completely can you see now so as you see like that when you click on both this is the thickness of what you have done but this may not be something for you so all the thickness or on the back and see some of those things that have inaccurate thickness like this particular one select it from here say change the height change it to something thin line okay so now what you need to do i want to change the thickness of this one on your keyboard you can press vg or at the same time go back to your view and press visibility or graphics so now you change it to something that suits you from this tie on the wall click on cut look at the cut line so this also a cut line and say click say override click on override change the width to something like okay i want to use seven so okay you can click apply to see can you see so the thickness come out and that is how you do your words your plan so we have never finished with templates click on this bring dining templates into this space click here search for dining templates and click this particular one this one used to be four by four seater dining space so you make use of this and if you look at it that a little bit small you can adjust everything from here by selecting it all then shift it so more space for the room more space for the dining so you adjust it that way so now the dining now i want it to have its own a little bit gravis Like this anterior a little bit big so i reduce the size no don't reduce the size because of certain thing so leave it like that 
so like this now i need to introduce um graphics to this so the arc way you click on the uh, annotate click on detail click here and do like that so i want it to be a demolish a breaking line so you select the tool like that and say click and strike click on demolish so this one gives you so that is how you do your floor plan by arranging this. if you don't want anywhere you don't want the orientation of the water okay you don't want the, the light the way the doors open so you can flip it by clicking on the door start flip the advice i have for you is that whenever you are doing things like this now you are getting your graphics right make sure you always turn off the the tick line so let's leave it thin line so that you can see the details of everything you are doing so this is the this is how to draw floor plan in revit and you should make sure you concentrate on this particular one in the next topic we are going to talk about talk about the elevation and everything so keep waiting keep watch just subscribe and share this project subscribe to the channel share this project to anyone like and comment if there's anything you want you do not get here so please put the comment there and if there's any project you want us to do put the comments there.